Excuse me, get away from my car then. It's about respect. You see, that's why I don't like coming in these type of neighborhoods. Don't touch my phone. Don't touch my phone. Picture me folded, what? never that boy. Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the cap. No. Boy. If I wouldn't see neck, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown Double H, man, it's be the five. MP in the cut, yeah, we get it live. Ayy. Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to 100. Remember how our moms used to take and like spit clean us? You know what I'm saying? You remember getting spit cleaned when you was little? Yes. I don't know about y'all, but I got spit cleaned enough times. And I used to hate that as a kid. And then you know what? You hate it as a kid, but then you do it to your own kids, okay? If they let you, all right? My one son, Jerron. He did not play that mess with spit shine, spit cleaning, none of none of that. As he got older, and when I say older, I don't mean like in his 20s, because I wouldn't dare do that to him. But you know, like when he was like probably like about nine or ten, he was not going for the spit clean. You know how you and you spit clean your kid? He wasn't going for that. He was not going for that. And it was so funny. My lips are so dry. Hold on, you guys. Jerron would not be going for the spit shine cleanup. Real quick spit shine. He wasn't having it. Like, I try to, as soon as he see me go, he'd be like pushing away. Or like, no, like, you know what he would say to me? Why can't we just do it for ourselves? How about I just do my own face, ma? I don't want your spit all over me. The things that he would say to me when I would try to spit clean him was like, what like how dare you and it wasn't like disrespectful but it was like i don't even think i would say that to my mom like you know what i'm saying but i used to hate when my mother would do that to me and she seemed like she did it enough and maybe she really didn't but i don't want your damn bacteria germs you know what i'm saying on my face like i don't want your saliva on my face just let me keep the crust there Okay, like don't spit shine me, and I and I have done that. It, true, I have done that to all five of my kids, even my grandson Tinky. Not not so much. Maybe I've probably done that to him like once or twice, but I told him to do it to himself because I think as I got older, I was like, I don't really want to um, put that on his face. And I think like after hearing from my son Jerron like several times about it, it just like turned me off from spit cleaning okay so i know you i know i am not the only one out there who used to be get, get spit shine your mama come through real quick get that crust off your face that's like the that's like the most famous thing a mother could do i don't even see fathers doing that i never seen a father spit clean they kid. and if they have then please which one of y'all out there please leave a comment down below because I don't recall men spit cleaning their kids. It's like a motherly instant type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like how the mother bird feed the baby birds. They chew up the bird. Um, they chew up the food and then drop it in their mouth. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. You know, let me tell you, there are people out here in Arizona who I would like to do that too, but not their whole face, their eyebrows. Okay. They freaking eyebrows, like lick them shit, get them off. You know what I'm saying? Who told you to come outside looking like that today? Let me spit clean them eyebrows off for you, okay? I can't really do that too much because it's COVID, but I got handy wipes on deck. Let me start carrying those around and just wiping off eyebrows and giving out templates. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what the heck I'm talking about, giving out templates. You know, those little um, stencils, those eyebrow stencils from Amazon. They come, they come with 30. I could carry a box around every day and give out one per person. A box will last me a, a month. I give out 
a one a day to a person. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter what stencil it is. I guarantee you that shit'll look better than what you got on your eyebrows. Damn, that nigga is out running real quick. What did he rob somebody over here? Yes, carry a stencil a day. We'll keep those eyebrows looking good, baby. Okay? Yes. That's how I be feeling out here. When I first moved out here, girl, I mean, my brows weren't the best. Y'all know I complain about my brows. Yeah, my brows ain't been the best, so you know what I'm saying? But when I first moved out here, there was enough bad brows, girl. Enough of them. Enough. They were not, like, bad like mine, but they were some bad-ass brows. Like, serious bad brows. So, I take the brow game really serious. Like, I'm going to come outside looking like this during the daytime. But when I have to do a tutorial, I am doing my brows really, really nice. Here go the other grandkids. And the son. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. Say good morning. What's this about? What's all this about? What's all this about? It's a private. It's a private. People live here. People live here. Let me tell you something. People live here, right? People live here. We don't... We don't want to do all that stuff. This is privacy around here. We don't do the cameras and all that. People live here. Respect people. Respect. Excuse me. Respect. Get away from my it's car then. It's about respect. You see, that's why I don't like coming in these type of neighborhoods. that around here. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. That's why I don't like coming in these type of neighborhoods with these type of people. You see? You see? Who wear colorful, so colorful crops. Respect. Wow, wow, respect. wow. It's, it is about respect, so don't touch my phone, sir. Respect. I can record you, sir. Don't touch my phone. You guys respect. have a good day in and school. Me... All right. All right. Work has been done. Work has, in, has been done as in dropping off the grandkids to school. And it wasn't even late. To me, being on time is kind of like late, especially for kids at school, because, you know, they be procrastinating. They be slow. They walk slow. They get to their little class. They they drag. But not those two little motherfuckers. They took off running like that was the best thing ever to get to school. You know what's so crazy? Ever since the COVID hit, I have never in my life heard kids talk about school so much. Like, I can't wait to go to school. I can't wait to get back to school. I can't wait to go to school. I wish school would open. Like, when did we ever say that as kids? But when I went to junior high school, I was crying, like, right before school started. Like, and my mom had no emotional side to her. Like, I went to her crying. She didn't even, it seemed like she didn't even care, like get over it type shit. That's, that's how she was like not, not knocking my mom and her parenting skills. She wasn't too emotional about that shit. She just spit, clean me up and send me on my way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't remember recall running off and being like, okay, bye. Why are you speeding? I tried to get over to the left. This, where are you speeding to the red light? Cause God damn, you know, they like, they see me trying to make a left to get over to the left lane yo they started speeding the hell up like where are you trying to get to there's another car right in front of you what are you rushing to get to the red light people be making me sick out here with they driving like i be wanting to get out the car and smack the shit out of people sometimes positive and they just going back and forth in the lanes i'm watching them now pat back and forth positive vibes positive vibes have positive vibes april but please don't nobody say no smart shit to me because i might just have to smack a motherfucker today i don't even care who you are i'm gonna just smack your skin off your face and are they going in the parking lot where the gym is at because i will watch them get out their car and follow them to the treadmill or wherever the fuck they go at just to look at them like they crazy and be like did you really have to get up in front of me like that them two little motherfuckers took off running. They was like, we love you, bye. Well, here I am at the gym. At the gym. And it is a nice cloudy day too. There are parking spaces available, which means there's not a lot of people in there. A whole lot of parking spaces. Which also means that I shouldn't have to wait too long for equipment, like, you know, certain stuff. But let me get in here. I'll see y'all later. Yeah, um, it was a good workout. I um enjoyed myself, I guess that's what you could say. Now it's time to go to the post office. Then I'm going to go home, wash up, get something to eat, remove these freaking nails. Oh, my God, they are pissing me off. And see, I will go to the nail salon and let them remove them. But if you let them remove them at the nail salon, of course, they're going to expect you to get them redone. They're going to expect you to get something done. You know, they, they're going to definitely, you know, expect you to get something done. If they've removed your nails, they're going to expect something 
in return, like for you to get them done. And the way they be ripping them off, I'm good for the pain. You know what I'm saying? I'm good on that. I'm going to just remove them myself today. I'm going to soak them off and get them moved. Good workout. I enjoy myself. I just wish that I could do more. But I guess in time, you know, what do you expect if you just started? Like, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. But I'm going to go get me a new waist trainer. Or at least, I, or at least I'm going to try my other one back on because it was a little bit uncomfortable for me. I can't deal with the uncomfortable. Not at all. But I think I'm going to put it back on because I, I do be wearing this other one. And the other one seems kind of wonky to me. It does get me to sweat in, but I want to wear my other one. So I'm going to see if that one fits. I would go on Amazon and buy one, but I like to go where I go. Um, she she measures you. And of course, it's $70, 65 versus 20 on Amazon. But at least I know that it'll fit right now. I don't have to get aggravated. So, But um, nice workout. It did start getting crowded after a while. Unfortunately, I wasn't the only one on the treadmill, but that's okay. You know what I mean? As long as wasn't nobody bothering me. Let me get to the post office so I can get my ass home, you guys. <laughs> going to eat some curry oxtail that I make. I made some curry oxtail the other day, Saturday night. And I'm going to go home and have me a bite. I'm going to have me some curry oxtail. I think I deserve it. Like, I worked out. You know what I'm saying? I, I worked it out, honey. I worked it out. Look, I, I be a busy woman. Y'all seem to... Some of y'all don't realize, but I be, I be a busy-ass woman. Some people think that all some YouTubers do is sit at home on their ass and just collect money from doing YouTube videos. And that's not all I do all day, honey. That that, that definitely ain't it. I get up at 6.15 in the morning, okay? Not 5.30 anymore, but 6.15 because I go to the gym now, so I ain't got to go on long walks. But I get up at 6.15 in the morning. I get dressed, you know what I mean? I get ready. I get my grandson, Tinky Man, ready at 6.45. I wake him up. I let the dog out. Well, Tinky lets the dog out for me. Let's pancake out. Not not a dog. She's my daughter. She let my dog daughter out. My daughter out. Um, we get ready by seven twenty five. I'm out the door so that I could go get my grandson, my other grandson, my first grandson to um, bring him to school. I go to the gym. I do my errands, whatever errands I have to do. That's what I do in the morning time. I really, really right now I, I do want to head to the Dollar Tree and see what they have, but. I think I'm going to just wait until after I get Tinky from school and go to the Dollar Tree. So that way, hey, dude, uh, because there is a couple things that I need, like some plastic spoons and forks. Tinky loves the plastic spoons and forks. So I might do that. But I, you know what? I'm going to wait until I get the boys and then I'm going to go and um, go to the Dollar Tree. Um, maybe. I don't know. Should I go now? Because you know when you bring kids somewhere, they always want something. But I really want to go home right now. But if I go home, what am I going to do? I don't know. We'll see. But got my packages shipped out. And I am, you know, done for the day. Not really done for the day, but I do need to upload a video that I already have done. And, um, yeah. So whenever you guys are watching this, I hope you guys have an amazing day. You know, be blessed. Don't let nobody mess. Don't let nobody get in your good zone. Don't let nobody bring you out of your good zone. Okay? Don't. Have a blessed day. Be safe. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.